Hey there guys, and welcome to another Mecarina Spotlight. Today, we've got a breath of fresh air for you. The Zephyr. Oh, sweet. That mech is absolutely one of my favorites. Really? Yeah, it's just so good. When I'm in a Zephyr, I can't help but leave a trail of stunned enemies and steaming wreckage behind me. They call me the Wind of Destruction. What? Who? That's ridiculous. Nobody does that. Also, hold up. You could at least start at the beginning. Ah, the beginning. I remember the first time I laid eyes on her. Her stats, that is. Honestly, Zephyr is pretty underwhelming on paper with so-so HP, mediocre energy capacity, and the speed of a Paragon. Which is not bad. Paragons aren't slow. No, see, they're slower than you think. That boost ability means Paragon can go fast when it needs to, but the Zephyr isn't so lucky. Honestly, the first time I saw Zephyr, I figured I could just use Paragon instead. More guns, more speed, more health. Except now you're the Wind of Destruction, so I expect this story has a twist ending. Oh, the twist. The twist is Shock Pulse. Obviously. Yes, obviously, Shock Pulse. Zephyr's ability is so good, it's too good. It's comically good. It EMPs every enemy in a 30 meter radius. No moving, no shooting, no using abilities, nothing. For six seconds. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's a nightmare, you mean. All they can do is sit there and get shot at. Speaking of shooting, how is Zephyr's energy capacity? Uh, it's pretty solid. Medium capacity means none of the ludicrous weapons, but that's fine. There are a lot of powerful middleweight guns out there. I used pulse cannons, carbines, and even arc torrents before finally settling on missile racks. The Zephyr really wants that high burst of damage so it doesn't expose itself for long. Though, I suppose your guns don't matter as much as your teammates. Even the most dangerous mechs struggle to reliably take out more than one opponent in a salvo. Precisely. On your own, you're a threat. But if you shock pulse an already busy battlefield, it can win an entire match. Suddenly, all your teammates go from fighting for their lives to mopping up a helpless enemy. Every time I pull it off, I feel like a general on the battlefield, smiling as my plan is put into motion. All right, rein it in, wind of destruction. The Zephyr is good, but don't oversell it. It has weaknesses. Well, I mean, technically, I suppose, but they're not really important, right? Let's just agree that it's a great mech and end this episode. Haha, <laughs> sorry, but that's not why we're here. People need to know a mech's weaknesses if they're going to use it right, or fight it. Oh, all right, fine, weaknesses. To start off, you're pretty easy to shoot at. You're not small, you're not fast, and you don't have any defensive abilities. Thanks to your mediocre health, if you mistime your shock pulse and charge out into enemy fire, you're not going to get a chance to retreat. Better to ambush and wait until the moment is right to pop your shock pulse. Absolutely, but it's no guarantee. If a Guardian knows you're there, its system crash has the same range as your shock pulse. It can wait just out of range or just sneak up while you're not paying attention and bam, you're crashed. Mm. Then Guardians are a serious threat. And you can't avoid the danger by just using longer range weapons and keeping your distance, because that means letting your shock pulse go unused. Precisely. Okay, so if I see a Guardian or I miss time a shock pulse, can I fall back? Not reliably. You're just not that fast and you don't have enough health. Instead, I try to use cover or allies to keep the enemy just out of the line of fire so my shock pulse can come back up. I mean, that sounds good, but that really doesn't tell me what to do if I'm isolated and overwhelmed. Well, uh, that's a, a bad situation. My advice, die with honor. <laughs> I see. I guess that calls into question. Would you recommend Zephyr? I mean, yeah, obviously. Wind of destruction. In all seriousness, though, Zephyr is a great ambusher, a supporting mech that can also pack a punch with a flexible arsenal. Well, I guess that settles that. Sounds like it's time to end this Mech Arena Spotlight. We hope you enjoyed our breakdown. If you want to let us know, make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, and maybe even leave a comment. We're looking forward to it. See ya! Bye!